Phoenix Novell from Tag Live Mic Check presenting the one and only Mr. Daryl Galler from Havana, Cuba. Hey, what's up, everyone? How's it going? What an amazing opportunity that I had for the first time, 2017 in Singapore, performing with this dynamo on stage six nights a week at the Grand Hyatt Bricks. It's just, it's been impeccable. I mean, I'm honored, you know, he's very young, but I mean, for him being so young, he's so seasoned. You know, he's an amazing vocalist, just just talented all around, learning the guitar, songwriter, and in, 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 in the making, just brilliant. So it is my honor to present him to you guys. Thank you. So I guess I just want to ask you a couple questions about your style of music, what you love to do, and a little bit about your background and where you came from. Is that cool? Yeah, sure. Okay. So first and foremost, <laughs> do you have any inspirations? Like, do you have any favorite artists or somebody who inspired you while you were actually trying to become a singer? Yes, of course I have it. I mean, first I grew up when I was a, uh, when I was a kid. My mom, she was doing a lot of trips around the world. So the music I was, you know, getting from there, it was just like kind of soul, jazz and all stuff, like Luther Vandross, Mariah, wow. Christina, uh, you know, all the biggest ones, uh, Ella, Ella Fitzgerald, all those wow. guys, yes. So I was, you, you know, I was like listening since I was a kid, and I just grew up with that, so yes, of course I have like, Mariah is one of my biggest idol ever, yes, <laughs> she's amazing. And uh, yes, from now on, also I love Jessie J too. She just for me. It's like she's an amazing vocalist. Yes, yes, yes. So yes, I grew up with those uh, those singers in my life that you know make me I like you know inspired. people inspired. Awesome. Very cool. That's awesome yeah. to hear. Because I myself was a big Mariah Carey fan, not only because of her vocal range and ability, but also because of her writing skills. Mm, like, yes. she used to have, like, in her, in the booklet that came with her, the CD, the CD cover, she would have all of the songs, with all, all the, the lyrics. lyrics yeah. And I was just like, wow, like, the fact that I could actually read her thoughts and get to know, she used to have me picking up the dictionary. I'm like, what does that word mean? I learned a lot of words from Mariah Carey, I must say. So we got that in common. That's great. So I, my next question will be, what are your long-term musical goals? I mean, where do you see yourself on the main musical platform? All right. First, uh, when I decide to come to the women in this kind of you know business, uh, I just want to be the you know successful guy, just like you know that people can come on, you know, but someone that that can. Maybe I don't know if I can call this like skill about writing songs and all the stuff. I love that. Still, I'm still working to how to do it because okay. it's like really hard for me, like you know, lyrics and all the stuff. Especially because you know, English is not my first language. <laughs> okay, but you're working. But, with, you're working with people whose English is their first language now, so that's a plus. So for you. that's a plus, exactly. That's so that's a really good. Uh, that's a really good start. So my, what I want is just like. Be in the in the. <laughs> I just want to be in the in the best place possible. You know, I just don't want to be like the famous guys ever. Or some it's just like someone recognized by between musicians. Okay. That's actually what I want. It's like someone that people can you know like. I still I'm just 24 years old. Actually, yeah, yeah. people used to like ask me, hey, what do you want in life? But mm, please don't ask me that question. I don't have an answer yet, but I'm sure that I will figure out what what it will be. So, yeah, that's actually what I want. I just want to be recognized between musicians, and I want to be really successful about this business. I just that's what I want. I just don't want to live the life like a big celebrity. Big celebrity or well, now that we're talking about it, I, you want to be respected amongst the international travel musician community. Yeah. How did you get your start in this business? How did you leave Cuba and actually get your first gig abroad? Well, what was that like? first it was it's, it was really funny because I have a few friends from okay. Cuba that are working right here, and this is like overseas 
okay. business. Yeah, they're, they're musicians too. And it was fun because when I was in Cuba, I was working like in a kind of job like this, okay. doing exactly the same repertoire and all the stuff. You know, like hyping and blah blah blah. But it was just my own language. But still, I was doing like uh, uh, top forty okay. repertoire. So it was really easy for me at the beginning. So I was just me and two musicians, uh, four musicians, doing two set by, by myself. It was really nice, and I think that it w that was my first step, like big step, because you know playing with a live band, like it's just a really big deal. And you felt like you belonged on stage. Yes, and when I started, I, I and even me, I was so impressed about myself because I didn't know that I could do a lot of things that I'm, you know, that I'm and doing now. Doing very well. Man. And. Oh my God! Thank you. I'm not lying. I'm not just hyping you up. <laughs> Thank you. Man. So I'm I'm serious. Like uh, I took it really serious at the beginning, but I started like after one year doing that job, I started like to be honest, I started like needing more. I was like I wanted more. I was like oh, I need more than that. So I met someone uh, that he was working for this company before. Well, like, no. Uh, at Live Productions. L -I. At Live. Shout out to L Live Productions. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At Live Productions, and uh, yes, she was um, she was working for this company before. So I just met her. I I did heard about At Live Productions before when I was in Cuba, but I didn't took it seriously because I mean you know it was kind of hard to like hire decisions from Cuba and then take them out. But I didn't know that they were doing. It. So. I, uh, we start talking to each other, we introduce each other first, and then uh, we start talking, and she was asking me, hey, what you doing? Well, what are you doing here? Why are you not like, you know, doing overseas? You would make a really nice time and all this stuff. And I was like, yeah, well, actually, I tried to apply for a company. Yeah, what company? And I was like, at Live Productions, and she was like, are you serious? Okay. Listen, you know where I come from right now? I was like, no, oh, at Live Productions. I was like, no. Way wow. sorry, my language, but it, I was so well, impressed. Things came together for you, you know. You yeah, you, you had the right connections, and yeah, L Live is making moves. That's without a doubt. Exactly. So exactly. yeah, and you put it out there that you wanted to do it, and look at you right now. And, and exactly, that was exactly my first, my first gig ever it was in Malaysia when I just signed the contract. Yeah, there. I, I sent my video, my audition, my audition. They just sent me when we started getting in contact. And then I just got my kids. Yeah.